Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to respected professors and my dear friends. I am your host and I would like to welcome you all on behalf of Department of Commerce and Team Udyojak. Today we are here to have an interaction on environmental conservation for which we are having with us a very eminent personality who doesn't need any introduction. He has made a significant contribution for cleaning the beaches of Mumbai and for which he has received an international recognition. На побережье Аравийского моря в Мумбаи находится пляж Версова. Популярное в прошлом место отдыха со временем превратилось в городскую свалку. Гниющий мусор плотным ковром покрывал береговую линию. Hi, I'm Afrosha. I'm a lawyer by profession and I love my oceans. I live on the coast and beaches of Mumbai. When I returned back as an adult on the beaches, I found my beaches lost due to plastic and garbage on the beach. And I said to myself, something had to be done, and something had to be done urgently. And I decided to use my two hands to good use. I started cleaning my beaches in Mumbai and cleaning my ocean. Набравшись решимости, в октябре 2015 года Шах и его 84-летний сосед Харбан Шматур начали очистку пляжа. С тех пор каждые выходные к нему присоединялись добровольцы, от обитателей трущоб до звезд Болливуда. От школьников до политиков. Афрос называл такие дни свиданием с океаном, хотя на самом деле это была тяжелая уборка гниющего мусора под палящим индийским солнцем. Двадцатого мая 2017 уборка завершилась. За 86 недель с пляжа убрали более 5 миллионов килограммов мусора. Очистили два с половиной километра пляжа. Эксперты программы ООН по окружающей среде назвали работу Шаха крупнейшей очисткой пляжа в истории. Афрос Шах получил титул чемпиона Земли. Но его миссия на этом не закончилась. Чтобы сохранить белоснежный песок и окрестности пляжа, Шах очищает прибрежные ручьи и мангровые заросли. For me, the narrative must start from bottom to top. Don't wait for your government, don't wait for your court. Start taking individual actions. We have littered and we must clean. Russia. Our life is drowning in plastic and this plastic drowning is a reality. Our colas, our daily breads, our favorite biscuits come packed in plastic. Shopping at malls and stores and almost everything up for sale is packed in plastic. Plastic is part of our daily lives and not many seems to mind this. We gift this plastic packaging to our landfill and to our oceans, rivers and lakes. The landfill and oceans are choking with plastic. Remote, uninhabited, pristine places and dense urban habitats and sparse ruler setting are sending us pictures of pollution which mankind has not seen before. Marine species mistake plastic for food and swallow them. People relishing fishes on their plate have plastic on their menu. Our beaches have become plastic graveyard. Our oceans, lakes, rivers have turned into sewers. This is a fact. This is real and this is now. Life of convenience, habit of littering, attitude of it's okay to continue this way, And our future resolve to do this endlessly is driving us nowhere but driving our planet into a garbage planet and our ocean into a plastic ocean. Have you ever gone with the river flow? Have you ever felt raging ocean storm? A drop of water as light as the air 
But there is hope and good news. I can reverse all this when I say I, it means each of us. I must start taking small baby steps which have big impact. I must handle garbage as I handle my life, wisely and properly. I must make my house zero garbage, segregate the garbage, turn wet garbage into compost, dry garbage into money by recycling. I have handled plastic badly, I must handle it properly. Refuse, reduce, reuse and recycle must become a part of my life as far as plastic is concerned. Then I must go out and clean my neighborhood, my ocean, my beach, my forest and provoke others to do the same. These small steps have big impact. They are easy and require minimum effort. It is a simple tweak in our minds from life of convenience to life of existence. Does it hurt to watch the dance of dying swan Drowning in the dark of a night that big governments, powerful courts, successful corporates, collective democracy and governance are responsible to save our planet and ocean must change to the narrative that individuals are equally responsible to save our planet and our ocean. It's my planet, my earth, my ocean, my forest, my river. I have taken these small steps. Thousands and thousands of volunteers have taken these small steps. I urge you to take these small steps. I don't want to be a living person without a planet home to call my own. I do my bit every day. Please do your bit every day. Spasiba Russia, Spasiba Sochi. Have you ever felt like lifeless souls? When the rivers are drained, the world intoxicated, take my hand and say, Адвокат, обладатель титула Организации Объединенных Наций, чемпион земли, Афрос Шах, Индия. Актриса театра и кино, лауреат премии «Золотая маска» Сиона Дольникова. From India, lawyer and United Nations champion of the Earth Award winner, Afroz Shah. But before I say what I did, I must tell all of you all, beach cleaning is misunderstood. Beach cleaning is not about clean beaches. Okay, let me make it clear. A lot of people think, oh, beach cleaning means just clean the beach and we are fine. Mm -hmm. 
it may or may not result in a clean beach but what we are trying to do is uh, protect the other species which live in the ocean because plastic becomes their food they eat it and they die of it one yes. second you must have heard of big plastic islands in the ocean big yes, plastic yes. islands are being formed called ocean gyres when you get the time just google ocean gyres you'll see uh, uh, island of the size of india you know all oceans are accumulating the plastic everywhere i don't and we human humanity doesn't know what to do with it so once i came here then there are various options uh, i could have gone to the high court being a lawyer it was so easy to file a petition with the with the chief justice of india and say come on let's do it or there were other options uh, you know complain to the bmc bmc you go on the social media you will always see people saying bmc you have not done this yeah people that tag narendra modi they say that you are the you are heading swachh bharat what have you done so there were various options but i chose a very gandhian way the gandhian way was this that be the change you want to see in yourself yes so i wanted a clean beach i said i must contribute myself what a court order could do what the bmc could do i could also be a part of the solution so i wore two gloves and started it the first day as you rightly said me and mr mathur yes. who eventually died of cancer uh, we two of us went to clean the beach <laughs> uh, imagine on a sunday walking and there is uh, six and a half feet of garbage but i said we'll do something let's start it of course being a lawyer i had read the problem of plastic pollution and not only that i was practicing zero garbage at my home for pretty long time so then i told it has to move from beach cleaning the work must be from beach cleaning to circular economy okay and uh, working on a gandhian principle is the best well you know if you come to my house for next time i will invite you all for a Definitely beach cleanup and then uh, you come to my house is like a uh, like a playground for volunteers so some people cook some people eat we share food it's like a chilled out cool zone <laughs> so and that's exactly what uh, mahatma gandhi used to do you know people from all all sides of uh, all backgrounds would come meet discuss the problem do something little and then be the solution and see once you ignite a little flame in you you know every human being we, we are born with this trait of being problem solver so if you if i tell you prana oh this plastic is a big problem you will start thinking what can i do what can i do what can i do you know either at a bigger scale and with love and the gandhian principle of holding each other you know not many people become friends these days you go on the social media hate jealousy attacking each other trolling each other is a trend i use the the weapon of love <laughs> to bond with each other and that's how uh, the build up happened uh, initially i used to come back from court in the night at 8 o'clock and i used to visit a lot of people here going to their houses pressing their bells saying that uh, uh, i am afro i am a lawyer i clean the beach can you join in you have to make a difference uh, then eventually i still remember those days you know i was not on social media so no what i was not even having a whatsapp so what i used to do is i used to write people's phone number good old way na name number yes. and every friday i used to call at least 80 100 people you know people who come for walks on the beach yes, i used yes, to yes. take the number houses which i visit the numbers i used to write all that and friday post my work hours at the court uh, post 6:30 7 i used to make phone calls to them saying that there's a clean up on sunday can you join in so uh, out of 80 calls i would get 10 15 volunteers <laughs> uh, and now for one year of my work i was not on social media because you know i was training to uh, uh, we lawyers are very private you know we don't uh, yeah. come on facebook twitter but then i had to make a choice uh, whether i should go ahead and eventually i did and i opened a facebook account after one year so that's how the journey began for now okay yes yes It's really great that how you joined in more people didn't give up at any point of time it's really great to hear thank you pranav uh, see this is the love for country you know this word love must get some definition yes see i'll tell you if many of you all must be having girlfriends and dating or having companions and if you have companion and girlfriend and if you tell that i love you without doing anything they'll say just you speak you don't do so probably take out for a coffee like if you tell your mother you love and you don't do anything to the to the mother but says love this word love had to be given some meaning and i wanted to give this meaning to the word love for the nation khali 15 august aur 26 january ko jhanda ujana aur bolna main desh se prem karta hu nahi और ये ये मेरी परिभाषा नहीं है दिस इज नॉट व्हाट आई थिंक अबाउट व्हाट लव इज दिस इज व्हाट आर फ्रीडम फाइटर्स थॉट दिस इज देयर थॉट प्रोसेस व्हिच वी वांट टू पुट इनटू एक्शन इन द फील्ड ओके थैंक्स अ लॉट फॉर हैविंग दैट इंटरेक्शन इट वाज रियली ग्रेट टॉकिंग टू यू थैंक यू प्रणय मीटिंग यू इन पर्सनल 
of course and i'll see you at the beach or the mangroves or in the slum walking <laughs> let's yeah. devise some program between uh, dg ruperel and us and you know let's get on the field now yes yes sure. the para- pandemic is also receding hopefully with all safety standards we should do something yes. now definitely we'll meet face to face some thank you pranav thanks thanks, thanks a lot